Hi, bonjour, beautiful moms and dads. I must say I have some in my audience now. So welcome, welcome. Um, today, I wanted to ask you a question because we are now in the month of March and I'm preparing an episode and maybe several. March is the arriving of spring. So I usually do a deep cleaning. I just moved in my, my apartment here not so long ago, so it won't be as much in depth because there is not so much, so many things that I need to clean. But as a, as you, in general, we do one or two deep cleaning per year. And this month I wanted to dedicate our deep cleaning to the inside, to everything that we need to let go of. And I'm sure you can see my cats behind. There was one, maybe the second one will show up. They're so cute and adorable. Uh, so what do we need to cleanse in ourselves that maybe is creating tiredness? I know I have several moms who, who asked me how to have more energy. Uh, some of them have teenagers, some of them have babies or toddlers, toddlers and they, they get, they're tired, they don't sleep a lot. So apart from the sleep deprivation that you may be experiencing because you don't sleep enough, there are other things that make your body and your mind tired. Um, another thing I want to address is the lower vibration. What in your life do you need to let go of uh, that creates a lower vibration and makes your energy vibrating lower and making you feel like yucky on an energy level. As you know, I'm, that's my cat's tail, <laughs> just in case you're wondering. As you know, I have um, a meditation in my Back to Peace kit for mom, my free Back to Peace kit, kit for mom. And by the way, if you haven't grabbed it, it's on my website co-parentingwiththeuniverse.com I have a meditation to clear the chakras because a lot of us a lot of us are absorbing everything when we go in the world and especially nowadays there was corona with everything that's happening in the world that is so sad we can absorb that and go around with that in our aura in our biofield uh, that will create, that will have consequences, both on an energy level, on the level, you know how I explain energy as an elevator, you will vibrate lower instead of being in the penthouse, which is great gratitude, love, all those yummy energy, uh, emotions. You will vibrate like, you know, in a swamp when there, there is stuff in the bottom that makes it dirty. And on a body level, um, there is maybe a low grade level of stress that you are living with day to day. And you don't even realize because this is your normal. I know for myself, when I realized that I was living with a low level of anxiety, and I realized that because I started working on that, on myself, on letting go. And one day I was like, oh my God, I feel so great. I felt like when I was in college, I had no responsibilities. I mean, I had some, but not big, not like paying a mortgage or raising kids. And I was free and everything was open. That's how I felt that I was like, how long have I been living in anxiety where I didn't feel like that and I didn't even know that I was in anxiety. So maybe that's you. So what do you need to let go of in order to feel a higher emotion? And I, I wouldn't say higher. Yeah, it's vibrating higher, but it's not better because every emotion has its place as long as you don't bathe in it all day. What do you need to let go? In short, what do you need to let go of to be more vibrant, more positive, attract better things, have more energy, be a better parent, but also a better woman and just feel great. So that's going to be the theme of this month. Um, I try to have a theme every month and I'm coming up this week with 
a podcast episode on astrology because I just came back from a Pilates session, a Pilates lesson. I love it on a Pilates machine. And Pilates is about realigning everything and, and working the deep muscles that we may not work uh, all the time. So I want to do this same kind of thing with that episode with astrology about realigning to know where you are you will understand in that episode how knowing the chart of your kid and yourself can help you be a better parent because you will understand better where they are and instead of uh, practicing a cookie cutter parenting you will practice a customized parenting because you will have more idea about their life lessons in this life about who they are, what they struggle with, what their strengths are, so you can push them and encourage them that way. So that's why I wanted to, to uh, have Neta. I had her in my old podcast. I wanted her back because I use her. I used her to do the reading for myself and my kids. Um, and it was immensely helpful for me to know and understand who they are, especially I had a reading for my son and it matched who he is for me too it matched it so many things matched so i encourage you to listen to that episode and maybe to get a session or understand your chart in a way or another so that you can leverage your strength and work with your lessons and challenges in this life that's going to be the beginning of spring cleaning knowing where you are what you need to let go of we're going to work on it this month and we'll we'll bring probably uh so if you remember you you'll, we'll work on that in this month live gathering that group coaching and we'll work on both letting go and start to install a positive seed to for you to work on once you weed the garden once you remove and let go of what is not serving you and if you're not a member, I'm sure that I will come up with some kind of video to help you start, initiate the process that you can continue on your own. So that's all I wanted to say today. I just wanted to let you know what we're going to do this month. Shoot any question or comment you have, anything you want me to work on. And those of you who asked me about how to have more energy, being less tired, I will even DM you and send you this videos so that you know what I'm going to work on and you can come back with your specific questions so that I can help you that way. Meanwhile, so I think you see both my cats now. No, just one. The other one is somewhere. Um, meanwhile, I wish you a wonderful week and breathe. Just by breathing, we start already being less tired, infusing, in. Um, bringing in bringing oxygen in our body will already bring more energy and we'll continue with the rest Mwah. bye for now